Hi guys, once again this is Alfred from BinaryOptionsTutor.com here with a little a uh, little bit of hopefully help <laughs> with uh, understanding the Big Daddy strategy. The topic is trading around the alerts. Just like uh, when we looked at the trades on the other day, we're going to look at th these are the trades that came uh, for the dollar yen that's the pair we're looking at here and these trades came on June 30th 2015 I've zoomed into this chart a little bit maybe it'll make it a little easier to see these little white arrows when the alert actually came now this line here this line right there denotes the actual start of the day on my server now uh, here in my neck of the woods that's actually uh, 4 p.m. but that's the start of the restart of the day here got a lot of aggression we can already tell that's a support area this is a support area right here so we can tell uh, the day swing was down that's central pivot right there center of the universe hopefully it's a little easier to see this is our little arrow right here which means we got in on this candle uh, this arrow is pointing up so we're looking to be long the dollar yen I, I put this X here this is not done by the indicators I just had to calculate where's the time of entry and where's the suggested time that this uh, the alerts going to expire and that's where it would have expired right there uh, this is not a new feature there's no need in anybody going back and re-downloading anything newer right now the new features are all in Big Daddy version 2.51 all you have to do is count the candles guys um, the open of this candle and this candle did go down a tight trade but could have basically gotten out with around uh, let's call it four or five pips tight trade okay this is the next signal again these these are these arrows are always by uh, our eight EMA some people call it the tail line the reason we have them there is because I'm always stressing to guys, you know if you've emailed me, I'm talking about if you have the opportunity to wait for a pullback. And uh, because you don't have to rush into these trades. Now sometimes that's not going to happen. It didn't happen here. You know, <laughs> well, I take it back because that's, that's pretty close. You know, you could have could have gotten in on a little pullback there or you maybe could have gotten in here somewhere around this area and still done just as good but if you have the opportunity I, I like to wait for pullbacks guys that's all I'm getting at there now down 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 nice move trade here's another alert and again this is trying to capitalize on a downtrend that's in place I'm gonna talk about that alert in a minute if you were already in a trade over here, there's no need to put on another trade. There's where this trade is for is a binary would have expired. If you were trading these on spot on Forex, that's 12 pips right there. You know, our holding to that support line, that's really right at 20 pips we'll call it 20 pips in about one two three four let's call it an hour and 15 why would you leave well not only is there a support line there but also there's our average swing of the day and we've already seen this area respected earlier in the day so if you're doing this on sp spread say on nadex or a platform or a trading spot that's a good place to exit you know like I say take that quick pop 
for 12 try and milk it for a little bit more maybe uh, 20 but this is a proven area and you see these guys did wick there they wick there twice so if you were still in after you saw this first wick I really just don't know what to say for you now here is another trade the first trade had not expired that's why my X is here no need to get into another trade there this is trying to capitalize on a, a hope of some continuation to the downside this trade is a loss because this trade right here we get in and we see the market just moved up even if you would have waited for the pullback for those guys that are going to write me and say well see you wait for a pullback, it still didn't help. There are times when it's going to help you to even shore up your exits. There are times when the market's just going to revert. This is later in the day, and the market was just reverting. Why? No, we already have done the average down for the day. We're already here at the support level. And, you know, maybe we were just too close. Uh, it's just support one. We could have We could have broken that level and continued. But it just didn't happen. You're never going to win every trade, guys. Um, there's the exit. That exit would have been here at the bottom of this candle. And there's just no way you would have won that trade. Now, we're later in the day, here's a trade. This trade is an up trade. We've got a call here. And later in the day very late in the day but yet and still this trade won so all the trades potential winners on the day i think that's about 75 percent on this particular pair i can't go through every alert for every pair obviously but uh, a lot of the pairs are going to correlate so you know uh dollar starts week uh some resiliency around the end of the u.s session and uh, again, that's it, guys. Just trading around the alerts um, in both respects. And uh, you still fine with this, guys. See you guys on the next video. Again, like, share, comment, subscribe. Uh, if you haven't checked out the Big Daddy Strategy or the Big Daddy Green Arrow Bundle, I'm going to leave a link in this video. Uh, try and... I'll leave a link on the video and possibly in the description. See you guys on the next video. This is Alfred for BinaryOptionsTutor.com.